So today's a bit of a sporty day. Today's the day that I go through my um, husband's hats and I choose um, one of them to wear because I just don't even want to deal with my hair. So to this, today is, I don't even know what this is, but it's doing a good job of covering my hair. Um, it's like really yucky outside. It's raining and it's just like not that great weather-wise. It's kind of cold. So um, I'm going to put this laptop here on top of this giant pile of laundry because I just don't feel like doing it right now. Um, so I was just thinking about like, you know, some really good tips, um, to tell other moms that are just starting out. And I would have to say my number one tip for a mom that's just had a newborn is how to avoid baby newborn rash. Um, for us, this was probably like the first like moment that you become a parent and you're like, oh my goodness. I wish I would have known. <laughs> um, and then later my mom goes to tell me, yeah, back in the day, um, you know, we would never put um, a baby wipe to clean the baby bottom when a newborn is just, you know, it's just, it's just here. Because their skin is so sensitive when they're so small, newborn baby rash can be avoided. And if you ask anybody like your grandparents' time, they'll tell you what they used to use to clean a baby bottom when they were newborns is just cotton and water. And this may sound preposterous. You're going to be like, how can I clean baby poo with a cotton and water? And I totally understand. But if you somehow either use water wipes, which I know this company was basically created because they also believed the same thing that we do. Um, we even used like whatever, it was to dot or um, another brand sensitive and it still didn't work. Like there's just something about just using water. So either, you know, a trick that my sister also told me to, to do is to add water into your wipes. So just water from the tap and put it in the container of your wipes. And you know, you can put that in a Ziploc bag or in a container so that it doesn't leak all over your, your counter. But just opt for as much water to clean the bottom of your newborn as possible. I'd say that was our number one tip because we did not know that and we got a really severe newborn rash for our daughter and it was probably our first dosage of welcome to parenthood and you felt, we felt super bad because it was like, oh my gosh, you know, I wish I would have known. So this was, this would be my number one tip, avoid newborn rash by using water on your wipes. So saturate your wipes with plain water so that it makes it a lot less soapy. You can even drain it all out and then, you know, fill it up again, drain it all out and fill it out again. You're using so many wipes when you have a newborn because you're, you know, just cleaning up all the time basically that it's just too much chemical on their little bottoms. So once again, my number one tip for new moms with a newborn to avoid newborn baby rash because it was the worst thing ever. You don't want to have your newborn with a rash because they're crying. It's just horrendous. It gets red. It can get irritated. You definitely don't want that. So do not use any store-bought wipes. For us, none of them worked unless you're going to saturate them, oversaturate them, and even over, over, oversaturate them with just plain old water. Um, we did try water wipes which I know they, you know, they sell them on Amazon. Um, we didn't try them when she was such a newborn. She was already a little bit older. They were very sensitive as the most sensitive wipe out there, I'd say. Um, but still, there's nothing better and nothing more secure than just having water. And of course, you need something to actually physically use on your hand. So you can use a wipe. The trick, like I said, is to just add water into your wipes container. That's something that my sister taught me. And um, just avoid using any store-bought wipes directly on your baby newborn's bottom because most likely they will develop a rash. They're just too sensitive and it's pretty understandable if you think about it. So that is my number one newborn tip of the day. I hope this helped at least one person and I hope it helped at least one baby bottom. <laughs> Save that baby bottom from 
a painful diaper rash. Hope you guys have a really good day and let's keep in touch. Hit subscribe to keep up with all our tips and tricks from mums around the world at maternitylounge.com. And please comment below because we love to hear what you guys are thinking. What's your number one tip? Um, you know, we love to read our comments and guess what? Everybody else reads the comments too when we start up a little conversation. So I have a number one tip. What's yours? Comment below. Bye-bye.